It has now been a week since the devastating flash flooding on the Havasupai Creek at the Grand Canyon. And now the community is coming together to help the Havasu tribe. 12 News journalist Brenda Lipinski spoke to the community organizers here in the valley. Everyone from the Arizona National Guard to the Department of Emergency Management have teamed up to help evacuate people and also assess damages. And now organizations are working with community to help out. So this is the first days that we've been able to receive donations. So we have some waters here and we also have some non-perishable goods such as soups. Mercy Worldwide Arizona working to collect donations after severe flash flooding in Havasupai left one woman dead, hundreds tourists stranded and damage to the Supai tribe land. Yeah, it, it is devastating to have so many homes impacted, um, especially so fast. Uh, I think we have as Mercy, our goal is to have compassion and action. Um, and when we seen the opportunity, the compassion had to be there. and We had to do some actions to support it. Organization leaders say they're collecting donations at the Arizona Career Development Center, as well as a church here in Phoenix and four other locations in Tucson. They're on to the next level of needs, which is the cleanup efforts. So we're looking at wheelbarrows. They're looking at cleaning supplies from cleaning materials to buckets to mops to tools to um, a lot of uh, because it's a rural area. They do need things like horse feed. It's a colder climate there, so they're going to need warmer clothes such as blankets. Spokesperson for the Havasupai tribe says they're taking in supplies through air. So the National Guard was activated um, for the evacuation purposes. The governor activated the National Guard. And because they were part of that initial um, process, uh, service, they were able to help us bring in the supplies that were waiting to be delivered. The tribe contracts with the private helicopter company for, um, for two purposes, one to bring in um, supplies and materials on an ongoing basis. And then that same service also, if, if requested by uh, visitors, they can also take the helicopter in and out when they come in to, um, to camp or to stay at the lodge. And since Havasupai is closed to visitors, they're working on next steps. Um, thanks to the generosity of so many people in the, in the community, um, supplies have been um, shipped into Supai to help them clean up mops and buckets and things like that. And we are um, so grateful for that um, outpouring of support from the community. And now we'll begin the work of repairing the, um, the land to allow folks to come back in. Meanwhile, organizers are making room for supplies to come in. There's a need. Let's answer the call. For a list of donation locations and how you can make a tax-deductible donation, you could head to our website, 12news.com. Brenda Lipensky, 12 News.